the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, good morning and welcome. We celebrate today the, the Magi, the fact that God has chosen outsiders, those who are excluded. He's come for all of us, the Gentiles, to have his good news and his presence known to the whole world. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins. were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They, are, they all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you, Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child, when you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. 
After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember going to Mass as a kid on during snowstorms and thinking, oh, this is great. We're going to be the only ones here. And then when it came time to the responses during the Mass, I'm like, oh, no, we're the only ones here. <laughs> How do I respond? Don't worry. There's plenty of people here. And, yes, it's stormy outside, but it's warm in here. And um, we're going to speak about how Christ has come for the outsiders. Jesus has come for those who feel excluded. You know, we, we spoke at, at Christmas, uh, Father Joe and I, both at the Vigil Mass and at the Midnight Mass, spoke in a special way about how the shepherds, remember, the shepherds were the first ones by the angel to hear the good news that the Savior was born in a stable in Bethlehem. The shepherds were outsiders. They were not part of the in crowd. They were not part of the religious elite. They were not the chosen ones. In fact, if anything, they were excluded. They were considered unclean, ritually impure. And yet God chose them. Well, today we have the Magi. And in a similar way, the Magi represent all of us. They represent all who have sought the Lord through science. You know, we often hear, oh, Catholicism and science are opposed. No, they're not. Some of the greatest scientists have been Catholic. I think of uh, Father Lemaitre, who came up with the Big Bang Theory. I think of uh, Dr. Jerome Lejeune. I think of many others throughout the course of history in that have brought the truth of Catholicism and the truth of science forward. See, the Magi were led by the truth. They were led by the light. They didn't find truth in the halls of power. They didn't find truth in the halls of power. They found truth in a manger, in the most unlikely of places. And that's what God does with us. God disguises himself. He comes to us in the weak, the feeble, the, the infirm. He comes to us in maybe those who the world excludes. That's where Jesus can be found. Um, Pope Francis has written a wonderful book um, called Christmas at the Nativity. He, and one of the quotes from the book is, he said, the wise men represent men and women who seek God in the world's religions and philosophies, an unending quest. The wise men point out to us the path of our journey through life. They sought the true light. The Magi were seekers. You and I are seekers. I was a seeker in my 20s. I couldn't, I couldn't find God in a church. It took Mother Teresa and her sisters to reveal to me the, the God of the universe could be found in the poorest of the poor and in the sick and in the suffering. And then when I went to seminary and started to study philosophy, 
It was like scales were falling from my eyes. I was like, wow, Catholicism is true. Not a bunch of just made up hocus pocus magic. Catholicism is true. And I wanted to shout to the world, Catholicism is true. Catholicism is true. And so we still shout to the world. But the world doesn't always hear. Because the world is looking in the wrong place. And this is what Pope Francis brings out. The world is looking in the halls of power. You're not going to find Jesus there. Here's a, a continuation of the, the quote. The love of God is humble. Yes, very humble. The wise men are thus models of conversion to the true faith since they believed more in the goodness of God than in the apparent splendor of power. And so we ask ourselves, where is this mystery in which God is hidden? Where can I find him? All around us we see wars, the exploitation of children, torture, trafficking in arms, trafficking in persons, and all these realities and these, the least of our brothers and sisters who are enduring these difficult situations. There is Jesus. The crib points out to us a different path from the one cherished by the thinking of the world. It is the path of God's self-abasement, that humility of God's love by which he embases himself. He completely lowers himself. His glory concealed in the manger of Bethlehem on the cross upon Calvary in each of our suffering brothers and sisters. That's it. Don't we believe, you see how it's a Eucharistic mystery? Don't we believe that Jesus hides himself in the Eucharist under the appearance of bread and wine, the Lord of the universe, the God of gods, the King of kings is present. And lastly, Every true encounter with the Lord Jesus should leave us changed. The Magi went home by a different way. They were changed. And that's what God does with us. Each of us should be changed. God doesn't change. God is unchanging. We're the ones that need to, to change. We need to reorient our... Um, our hearts and our minds to be attentive to his loving presence in our midst. So it's a, it's a wonderful feast. I love that first reading. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it says, rise up in splendor, Jerusalem, your light has come. Instead of Jerusalem, put your name. Rise up, Sally. Rise up, Bob. Rise up, well, you can name the rest of the names. Um, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Do we see the heaven in the eyes of our brothers and sisters? Rich Mullins uh, is a Christian musician. He's written a number of songs that I love. But before he died, he died tragically in a car accident. Um, he sat down at the piano and, and wrote a few songs that he recorded, and that's all that's left of this one song called Heaven in His Eyes. But he just wrote, See the teacher sitting by the road. Do we see the heaven in his eyes? The Magi found him. Wise men still seek him. 
good news is there's truth in Catholicism and he reveals himself to those who seek him with a pure heart and mind. God has come for the outsiders, those who are excluded. That's all of us. Thank God. stand. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, is called to acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. Grateful for our faith, we now bring the Lord our petitions. That Pope Francis, all bishops and church leaders will reflect God's truth and love to the world by the integrity of their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the church may tirelessly reveal the glory of Christ to all nations and peoples who do not yet know him. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the manifestation of the glory of Christ will enable all nations to also recognize the sanctity of each and every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That missionaries may find new strength through today's feast and may enjoy the support of the Christian people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's people may more deeply discover the mystery of the Eucharist and worship the Lord as did the wise men of old. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That, like the Magi, we generously share our gifts with the Lord trusting he will provide all that we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who are in need of our prayers, especially the sick, those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, and those recovering from natural disasters, be surrounded by God's grace and healing love. We pray to the Lord. That those who have died may share eternal glory. We pray for John Stengel, Alberta Martino, and especially for Polly Beckert and John Messer, for whom this 1030 Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, the King of Peace. We pray that he'll bring peace to the Middle East, to the Ukraine and Russia, and 
other parts of the world experiencing conflict where innocent people are suffering. For peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we trust in your loving care. Show us your glory, deepen our faith, and grant us your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise and glory of his name, our good of all his holy church. Look with 
with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ, as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, with the clergy, the religious, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be goers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
those joining us at home on Zoom will make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Just a couple of announcements. Next weekend uh, is the uh, our chance to serve the meal at the soup kitchen so in New London. So they're looking for people to sign up in the in the narthex if you can assist. Um, the calendars are there, and also um, uh, we were given some bread yesterday. Everyone runs to the supermarket to get bread and milk before a snowstorm. But if you didn't get bread before the snowstorm, there's still some in the uh, in the narthex. By all means, if you know someone that can use some, uh, please take it. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O the word always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God.